So it started about 20 years ago and it uh, moves around the world and this is the first time it's been in Sydney. Uh, and it started out purely as a robot soccer competition, so like behind me. Um, but we've also got rescue robots, uh, industrial robots, uh, domestic robots, and there's also a junior competition for, for school kids. So actually, counting the school kids, we have over 2,000 participants. The robots are completely autonomous. What you see in the game controller is just for kick, kick off and penalising the robots, but normally we would have five aside. Once the whistle blows, they're completely on their own, so there's no, nobody's remote, remotely controlling them at all. Uh, so there's a lot of work going into the design of the software to make these things intelligent. They, we have to have vision so they can see the ball, see the field, um, see the other, other opponents. They have to work as a team. They've got to you know, control their, their motion so they're agile and can get around the ball. So there's a lot of work that goes into these things. So the teams spend months working on these things in advance and for years uh, over time. So when we started, the first time we were in the competition was in 1999 and we were using four-legged robots that look a little bit like, like dogs and the, from Sony. And uh, most of the time they were falling over. It was just a challenge just to keep, keep them upright and to, just to do something you know, reasonable. Uh, and as we've progressed, they've become better and better. You'll still, still see them falling over. It's a really difficult problem. Um, but yeah, the, 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 uh, they progress all the time. And one of the things that we do, because it's meant to be a, a scientific event, not just sort of for competition, is that when we do something good, at the end of the competition, we publish all of our code and you know, explain what, to other teams what we're doing. So often enough, other teams will pick up. So for example, um, UNSW were champions in 2014, 2015. And the reason that we had done so well was that we developed a walk that was faster and more agile than anybody else. So then we published all the code for that. And then now a lot of the teams use our code. So in some ways we've given away our advantage. But that's the whole, the whole, the whole idea is you know, to, to make the whole league progress, not just to sort of hoard the, uh, the knowledge and, uh, and keep it for ourselves.